Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another doll unboxing. Today we have got two more of our LOL OMG Fierce dolls. We have Swag and we have Lady Diva. And they are both pretty cool. I didn't buy them at retail. I bought them at extreme discounts. I got them for like $13 each at Target when they were clearancing these. Um, they originally retailed at $36. I have also seen the Cleopatra Fierce doll at, uh, I think it was Marshall's that had them. And very cool, but still it, Marshall's was like $60, it was too much. So maybe if I find them somewhere else, I'll get one of the Cleopatra, because it does look pretty cool, but not $60 cool. Not for me. Not for my collection, because these are always ancillary. I get them for the clothes. So let's take a look at Swag. She's very pretty. These are bigger than the other OMG dolls. I did a full review of the Queen Bee one. A while back when these first came out, but here's the UPC for swag. We're gonna start by taking out our other stuff that we have back here. We've got a brush, we've got a little poster, fierce and it's just a really big poster for a like a doll diorama or something like that. I don't know. I saved Queen Bees. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the others. Here is Swag's sunglasses, I guess? I don't know, is this supposed to be her purse? I don't know, weird. It's an odd thing to find in the back of the box. Uh, but, it's fine. So, very fun little things. I'm going to try to get her out without too much effort. But, if I remember correctly, these are a little bit harder to open. You have to kind of peel from the top. But then you can take out her whole thing right there. So, if I remember correctly, there's nothing else in there. No, okay. There's nothing else in the back of the box. We just take them out like that. And she looks pretty good like this. Like, honestly, if you were to take her out and put her on a shelf in this container still, you could just cut the little top part off and you don't really see the plastic that she's on. And she'd still be pretty well displayed. So I'm gonna chop these so we can get her hair free. This side, always good to have those out. We're going to pull her little head spikes out as well. Okay, got those out. I think that might be it. No, there's a couple. Put her down here in the front of her shoes. I think it might be easier to just hit them like this. Okay. And of course, the ones on her waist are going to be easier. Okay. Now we're going to take these off. Oh, nope. There's one more over here. 
Okay, so we got her hand back where it's supposed to go. Here we go. She looks pretty good. Like I said, these are bigger dolls, so they aren't going to be the exact same scale as your OMGs, which is fine because they're actually closer to Barbie scale this way. If you look at them, I don't love OMG hats. Their heads are already too big. Uh, but we're going to try to get this little backpack off. I think that's going to be the only thing. Okay. So here's her little backpack purse. It does actually open, surprisingly. Um, this will work really well for other dolls. And then... Get the stand out. Okay. So here's our stand with our doll. Again, we're probably going to use this one. We've got our options right there. Put that on just like normal. Just like that. And we put her in there. And she looks pretty good. Just straight out of the box. You don't really have to do a whole lot of messing with her. I don't love the hat. I think I would take this hat off. And it's just held on with a um, with another of those little staples right there. So I'm gonna just grab that staple and yank it, so we can take that obnoxious little hat off. Uh, but it's not bad. Not a bad hat. It's just too big for what it is. Okay. So there she is with her little OMG Fierce. She's got sunglasses. There we go. I don't know how this is supposed to go on, or even if they're supposed to be sunglasses. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe they're supposed to be a hang down kind of thing. Maybe they are. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that seems like it's supposed to be that way instead. That makes more sense. Kind of like opera glasses almost. Okay. I don't love these. They don't really work. But that's okay. Um, we do have a brush. I don't know what you would use this brush for. She's in braids. That would just really screw up her hair. But we've got her little thing. Uh, these dolls do have articulated knees and ankles, which is kind of awesome. They are the most articulated OMG dolls. So, if you want articulated OMG dolls, the heads are not that far off in size from a regular OMG doll. So, between the four different Diva dolls that were available, they are, you know, pretty close on the skin tones. But, they're still fun. Uh, the fashions will fit Barbie pretty much most of the time, except for any molded corsets. Won't fit Barbie, obviously. Um, so let's take a look at Lady Diva and see more about her before we start taking their outfits off. So very nice artwork here on the back. Here is the UPC for her. Again, I got this for like $12 or something like that. 
it was a very, very good deal when I got it. Uh, we've got another poster, got another something that's wrapped up, and another brush. So, this one's in pink. We just take off the oh, trying to break my nippers apparently. Well, that didn't work right. So, we've got two, well, I broke my nippers, oh well, that's what happens sometimes. These were only like $8 or something like that. They are some of my favorites though, I don't know. Let's see if I can kind of jerry-rig them back. Eh, that'll work. Um, anyway, let's see. So much more effort. Get these nice ones out of the boxes. There is Lady Diva, right there. Uh, we took out the other stuff already. That's all we need the box for. Let's take a look over here at her sunglasses. These are actually transparent, so it's not bad. You know, put those on there. Take a look at the poster. Very pretty. Uh, again, a little brush. Nice and easy. Uh, now let's see about getting this free. She's had a long day. <laughs> uh, so, now we've got that out. Let's grab her other thing here. So we do still have two clips. I think I'm gonna use the bigger clip for her. Uh, as you can see, very cute. Um, She's got her little shoes under there. This is actually all a slip cover. Very nice little pink boa. I love that. I will use that pretty immediately for a doll, most likely. Let's 
So that's always fun. Uh, here is her little bag. Does this bag open, I wonder? Looks like it does, but I'm not sure. are just broken now. That's fine. It opens somehow. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> so it does open like this. So that's not bad. So, very fun. Again, I don't know if they're worth the 36 that they retail for, but they're not bad. I think they're actually a lot better than the regular OMG dolls because they are actually fully articulated. So, it's interesting. You know, we've got a couple of new things. We've got a belt that'll probably work on Barbie. Um, this whole little outfit will probably stretch for Barbie. The shoes work for Barbie because they're closed-toed. I think the best pieces that we got are really like the, the boa, this little... Um, clutch, the belt, the jewelry, those big earrings are fun, this little bracelet's nice, this little charm is kind of cute on the, uh, on the necklace, but mainly I got these because they were on sale and I don't have an impulse control, so yeah, so that's how that works. Um, but they're really cute. They do come with their own big stands, which is nice. Um, so I have them and I have the Queen Bee also. I have all of her stuff off because I've used it for other things. But this is what the articulation looks like. We do actually have ankle joints down there for the first time with OMG. Um, well, OMG girls. Boys always have ankle joints. But... It's pretty nice. The only thing that would make these dolls better is chest articulation right there. And then I'd be over the moon with these, especially at the $36 price tag. But like always, the face-ups are great. The hair is incredible. Uh, MGA does these dolls really well. It's just not a my style choice on these. But I'm going to piece them out and uh, show you guys how many pieces you actually get for the 36. So we're going to start with swag. So ancillary pieces, we've got the hat and the bag and the glasses. These are pieces that she's not currently like, she's not really packaged with, you know, she is packaged with the hat because that's really like packaged onto her. Um, let me show you. I've got to bring in my alternative nippers oh, I did not get it all the way through uh, so she's got a necklace that's on That's actually just, uh, there was a little, like, staple holding it on, so it's not super stable. Of course, we've got our earrings. One of which 
is a square, the other of which is a star. They both say swag. We've got a corset right here that's actually not molded, so it might work on some of our dolls. Probably not Barbie, but most likely Monster High this will work with. Um, and then let's look at the shoes. If I can get them off, reasonable strength. Again, there's those ankle joints. So our shoes look really good. And then we're going to take off this outer layer to see what's underneath. Okay. So underneath you have like a full other outfit which is really cute. So we've got this, which will serve pretty well as a dress for our dolls. Uh, and then we've got what I thought was a bracelet is actually a watch which is kind of pretty. We're gonna take her hands off. The hands come off the same way that they do on regular OMG dolls. Uh, okay. And like that. Top and a bottom. I was a little worried that it was gonna be a, uh, a unitard, because they love to do unitards. I'm glad it's uh, tops and bottoms. Very cute. And that is it as far as what comes on the doll. So let's count out what that is, actually. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces total that you get with the doll. The doll, I would say, has the implicit value of about fifteen dollars. Um, so about half, so about eh, twenty dollars left. So you're paying over two dollars a piece for these at retail, which isn't bad. It's not horrible, um, but. With these, I kind of wish they had included second outfits, just because they are more expensive, and they are also bigger. So, that's what we have for those. I'm actually gonna put all of the jewelry in the hat, I think, just to keep it there without flying away. So, now let's take a look at Lady Diva. So of course the ancillary pieces, we have the glasses, the bag, and the uh, and the stole. And now we also have the belt that uh, does say Lady Diva on there, and it's just a stretch, like a stretch wrap around. So not a buckle like I thought it would be. Uh, gosh, let's see. We're going to try to figure this out. Okay. Okay. So I can't tell. Yes, okay. So this is what the shoe looks like. So we've got the little, like, over the overskirt thing for the shoe in there. Okay. And it does have like a little thing that it wraps on. And then take that off. 
two. And now let's see, we've got the necklace. Very cute. A nice metallic pink. We don't see that color very often. She's got a snake earring, which is kind of fun. And then her other earring is her mic. So I think I would actually count those as separate pieces. We gotta take her hands off now. She's got this little like mesh sleeve. If you guys can see that. And she has a skirt that's got a nice little underwear piece built into it to keep it from going too high up. She has a unitard that's not actually a unitard, it's more like a swimsuit um, because she's got an undershirt underneath it. I've had a lot of success with the um, with the OMG swimsuits really looking very nice on uh, Rainbow High Bodies, so I like that. And then we have our one-armed cheetah print or leopard print undershirt, which is kind of cute. It does have like a built-in bra because otherwise it's see-through. So you could wear this on its own. And that's it that's on the doll. So let's put her back on the stand. Okay, just like that. So let's count them out. So we have one, because I'll consider these a set. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I consider the earrings separate. 10, 11, 12, 13, because the arm sleeve is separate. So Piece by piece, Lady Diva is a better deal because you're paying under $2 a piece for that. You get two more pieces, then you get that, and that's with counting these as a pair. So it's a pretty good deal, and especially since I paid like $15 for these, like I'm not mad about that at all. So if you guys have any questions about these, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. All right, y'all. Be good. Bye.